But now we have an interesting situation at Hanford, Washington, uh, where we have some, what, uh, 53 million gallons of radioactive liquid, and suddenly the DOE has zeroed in on WHIP as the preferred alternative to move about 3.2 million of those gallons uh, in an altered state uh, to WHIP. Now, why now, and what are the basic problems with this idea? Why now is basically politics. Washington elected, Washington state elected a new governor in November, Jay Inslee, who took office in January. And one of the things he was told very early on in his term is that tanks at Hanford who, that had leaked before, but the Department of Energy has said since 2004 they weren't leaking anymore. Yeah. They, they had to admit, the Hanford folks had to admit to him that they have a number of tanks that are leaking again. Oh so he, of course, not surprisingly, was not at all happy about that, mm -hmm. um, and he shouldn't have been, mm -hmm. um, and he wants something to be done. And there actually was some national publicity about it. Uh, uh, so the Department of Energy then needs to, in their usual way of doing things, is to say that they have a solution for the problem quickly, uh -huh. even though they don't have a quick solution for the problem. <laughs> um, but if you can maintain you have a quick solution, I think the hope was people will stop paying attention. You know, it's a short-term media story, and the governor will... Right. be interested in other things and nobody will pay attention. Well, of course, that's not true. Hanford is a very big deal in Washington State and in Oregon. Contamination from Hanford can go into the Columbia River, right. um, and so therefore Oregon's very concerned about it because the you know, the Columbia is right there as well. So, so there's a lot of concern, as there should be, about contamination at Hanford. The solution to the problem, though, isn't to say, let's ship it to WIP. Um, this is an old idea that's already been rejected. Uh -huh. In 2003, the Department of Energy was trying to figure out whether they could do something with some of this waste, and they came up with this great idea of renaming it. It's high-level waste, and it's been high-level waste, but if we can rename some of it, that'll help us. Um, in two ways, they thought. One is they'd be able to leave some of it in the tanks mm -hmm. at Hanford, at Savannah Riverside in South Carolina, at the Idaho National Lab. So if we can leave some of it in the tanks, gee, wouldn't what that would be a great idea? It would save money, you know, save work. You know, we could say we already had some of the problems solved. And this is right? all verbal chicanery. This is all verbal chicanery. Well. Of course, at the time, if you remember 2003 in New Mexico is when we had a governor, Bill Richardson, who was the former Secretary of Energy, right. who knows a lot about this stuff. Right. And his reaction to, I don't care what you call it, but it's high-level waste and it can't come to New Mexico, is what he said. And it can't, um, it can't get here because of the 1992 law, which forbids it. Correct. Um, so we have we have a clear prohibition in federal law to high-level waste at WIP. What happened with Governor Richardson, though, is he said, you know, well, if you guys are going to play games like this, well, we can do some things, too. We can put some provisions in our state permit that are going right. to, you know, create additional barriers. Right, right. Okay, so in 2004... The Department of Energy, no less, the WIP site, proposed changes in the WIP permit to explicitly prohibit waste that had been handled as high-level waste, managed as high-level waste, that was the term, from coming to WIP unless there was what was called a Class Three modification. Now, Class Three in this case, means public hearings. Ah, uh, okay. Okay? Yeah. So DOE said, okay, you know, we understand you don't like this idea of us renaming waste and sending it to WIP, so we don't really plan to do that, but if we would change our mind in the future and want to do it, we would have to go through this extensive process of telling the state and trying to justify to the state why we were doing it. We'd have to go through a public hearing process. Once so again, right? anybody and everybody, you know, would be able to participate, et cetera. So, so that was 2004. So since 2004, um, in addition to the federal laws that say no to high-level waste, 
the New Mexico state government, through the permit, right, has yeah. said, no, explicitly, you can't bring this stuff. And if you ever try to, before you could, you have to justify it technically and legally. We have to go through a public hearing process. By the way, part of what can happen with the public hearing process is you, the OE may not get what they want. Yeah. And if they do, citizens, people who are involved, have the ability to take that decision to court. So it, it makes yeah. the decision very far removed from just the Department of Energy saying, we'll call waste transuranic so it can come to WIP rename it from high-level waste to transuranic waste and say everything is fine.